Hey, in this video, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can make a cool uh, little planet uh, that looks something like this. All right, so uh, to start, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a box and just drag it out on my uh, in my scene here. And then I'm going to go to Mesh. Uh, let's go to Smooth. And... We can make it super uh, low poly planet, or maybe I can just make it just a little bit higher. So maybe something like this. And um, I'm happy with that. If I just uh, check my UVs, obviously it's going to be uh, UV just like the box, right? The initial box that we got. So I'm going to uh, just go with this for now. And next, what I need to do is just export this out. So let's go ahead and export this out. All right, so I'm going to um, call mine. I'm going to set this to FBX and I'm going to just call this planet test. And as far as the options go, it doesn't really matter. There's really nothing uh, to the planet. It's just a sphere, right? So let's go ahead and jump into Substance Painter. All right, so in Substance Painter, I'm going to go to File, New, and I'm going to set my um, document resolution to 2K. I'm going to leave the normal K as is, and I don't want it to uh, unwrap. All right, now I'm just going to grab my FBX file and import it into the scene. So here's our planet so far, right? So uh, one of the things we sh should do right away is just run our big mesh maps. And I'm just going to, again, set this to 2K. I'm going to say use low poly because I don't really have anything else besides uh, the sphere and one of the things I like to do is just pump up the anti-aliasing just a little doesn't really matter because it's there's nothing here right so cool all right and one of the uh, other things that I did is uh, if you go to uh, substance source you can download a few uh, cool looking planets so for example I have one called Alien Cracked Rock. I have one called Alien Soil. So, or even the uh, Asteroid one. All of these are really cool. So I'm just going to drag it onto my sphere. And let's see what that looks like. So this is what it uh, initially looks like. And if we wanted to, uh, just make sure you download uh, the same material if you want to follow along. So this is Al Alien soil acid puddles and i think that looks really cool one of the things i would like to do is turn the height on and you can see how uh, that changes a little bit we can also go and play with some of the terrain gradient settings settings maybe we can make it to blue and red or green and brown i like this uh, blue and purple i think that's looks really cool now it's also reflecting the environment, right? So one of the things we could do is maybe uh, adjust our roughness. And we can either look for the roughness in our uh, channels, or a lot of times a really cool trick if you don't want to, um, if you want to have additional um, controllers you can always create a new fill layer on top and just select the roughness by holding the alt and click and this way you can control the roughness of the entire um, of everything below it so just a cool little trick so I'm just gonna make mine something like this I think that looks uh, cool and uh, the only other thing I would like to show you, and this pretty much the reason for this tutorial, is if you wanted to add more height to break the surface apart, uh, a cool way to do it is by going into shader settings and then clicking on this triangle here. And then here you have uh, something called displacement. So you can actually adjust the displacement of the planet, which is really interesting. And you can play with um, some of these settings, maybe make it, you know, 
not exactly too round. Now when you do that, it will begin to show the seam of where the box seam is. So one thing we could do is go into our material and instead of UV projection, maybe we can try uh, other options. Like triplanar, I think is doing a better job at hiding the seam. You can also change the tile. And again, if we go into our um, settings now, you can see maybe it's even uh, cooler, right? Now, if you uh, like how this looks and you would like to actually use it in your uh, game or uh, animation, you can uh, take this and export this out as a mesh with the displacement uh, tessellation. So let's try to do that. I'm going to say export and I'm going to come to my um, planet here and let's go ahead and use the FBX and I'm just going to override the other one which is called planet test and save. All right and then the only other thing that I need to do is I also want to export my textures. So I personally like to set these uh, to background color. Just, I think it looks a little nicer. I'm gonna set this to 2K. I'm fine with the PNGs. I'm gonna uh, set my folder, Planet Test. And the only other thing is I'm gonna leave it at PBR roughness and just say export. All right, great. Let's jump into Maya. And now in Maya, let's go ahead and apply uh, our maps. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Substance. I'm going to click on this button here, Apply Workflow, select multiple maps. I'm going to select all the maps from Planet Test and say Select and say Apply. And next I'm going to click on my uh, sphere, right click and say Apply Existing and I'm going to apply the one that we just created by importing all those maps. Now what I can do is I can turn on my texture and I can see what that looks like and obviously this is our initial um, planet that we created but we of course modified it, right? So maybe uh, one of the things we could do is uh, bring the other ones. That would make more sense. Let's go ahead and import our other FBX right here. I'm going to import that in. And now let's go ahead and do the same thing. Apply the material. All right, and here's the uh, planet with the PBR textures applied. So obviously it's very dark in here. So let's go ahead and add an Arnold light and turn the lights on. And the other thing I would like to do is go to the color and maybe let's bring in uh, an HDR. So I'm just gonna grab the sky one, say open, and that looks really cool. Then I'm gonna turn off my uh, lights in the scene and maybe turn off the grid just so I can see what my planet looks like. And this is a clever, cool way to quickly create uh, planets, maybe for your uh, background animations or uh, games. And um, I just want to show you this uh, simple little process. Now I can, of course, add more lights, maybe add a rim light. And uh, we could do that real quick. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights, go to Arnold, and let's bring in a area light. I'm gonna open up my outliner so I can see where my area light is. I'm gonna make it much larger. And what I'd like to do is set it up as a rim light. So maybe it's coming from the back of the planet. Maybe there's a moon back there and it's kind of um, 
making it bright. So the other thing that I need to do is I'm going to go to uh, here, light editor, and I need to uh, pump up this light, make it a lot brighter. So for that, I'm going to turn off my environment light for a second so I can just look at this one. And obviously it's not enough intensity. And even if I dial this up, it's still not enough. So let's add some zeros to here. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. All right, now I can start seeing some results. Maybe put this to six and maybe make it a little larger. And we can, of course, play with the uh, position and the angle. And let's say I like something, I don't know, I'm looking for a rim light, so something like this maybe. Now let's turn back on our environment one, and we can see that we have this rim light, which we can, we can also of course adjust the angle of the environment, which will change the uh, light in the scene. But there's the rim light, so maybe something like this looks pretty cool. And uh, we can also, if we wanted to render this, make sure you pump up your samples. Uh, I usually just set this to four um, every time, especially if you want to render this out. And let's turn off our lights in the scene and take a look. I think that looks really, uh, really cool. If we want to do a quick render, we can take a look and see what that looks like. And one of the things I would like to do is click on my Skype Dome and turn off the camera. And also maybe uh, we can turn down the intensity so we can really appreciate the light coming from the top and create more contrast. So I actually like this shot right here. And if we wanted to make this a little uh, better quality, we can pump these up maybe to like four. And of course you can change the size of your uh, resolution. All right, so that's how uh, fun it is to quickly uh, create a planet in uh, Maya using Substance Painter. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this, learned something new, and I'll see you uh, in the next video. Thanks for watching.